Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to review this. This is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I've only had sachets, but I got a generous amount of sachets from the lady that I saw. In fact, I went to two counters, but I only got sachets from one and she gave me six sachets. This is the only one I've not used and I actually put them in a little pot. Um, so I have been using this for over a week now and I'm really enjoying it and I really wanted to tell you guys about it. There are a couple of reviews on YouTube, but they are by um, younger ladies and a lot of them have mentioned that they feel this, or that this is directed, the advertising is directed at younger ladies. I haven't actually seen any advertising for this, only in the store. So when I've gone into Boots or Debenhams, I've seen it advertised, and that's what piqued my curiosity, and I went over to have a look. Um, but I haven't seen any actual advertising, so I don't know whether it is specifically directed to younger people. If it is, I can see why, and I'll explain that for you. So I'll tell you about the ingredients and the price and the claims, and then we'll see what we think. It's £22, and that is for 30ml, and it comes in a little tube with a little plastic ball on the end that you sort of pop up to use. Um, the claims are that it hydrates, brightens, perks you up. It's cool touch and depuffing tip help keep eyes looking fresh. Smooths the way for makeup too, have it on hand. Um, it says use twice a day, morning and night, squeeze amount of product onto the tip, swipe in circular motions, um, including lids, use finger to smooth in any excess, reapply as needed throughout the day. So um, with those, let me, let me talk about the ingredients first and then I'll go through those claims and tell you what I think. So the ingredients are really good in this and you guys know that I'm obsessed with ingredients and it's more what it doesn't have that I'm most impressed with. It doesn't have any alcohol added and it doesn't have any fragrances or any irritating fragrances. So a lot of products, you'd be amazed how many eye creams have alcohol in them, which is just so strange to me because it is a drying product and it's not something you want to put around your eyes. You really want to be hydrating that area. Most people do. Um, I don't think, I have never heard of anybody having an oily under eye area. Um, and then you have added fragrance in a lot of eye creams and it just is fragrance or perfume, so it's artificial fragrance. And then there's others that have called natural fragrances, which make people believe that they're absolutely wonderful and good for you, for example, lavender, um, but actually that's an irritant and it irritates the skin. This doesn't have any of those, so I'm delighted to see that, really, really pleased to see that in this product. The ingredients that are in here are, there's some peptides, which are really good for you. There is sodium hyaluronate, which is a moisturizer, hydrator, and that's a really good product. And then there's also some caffeine, which will help with puffiness. So the sodium hyaluronate, <laughs> hyaluronate, I can never say that word. That will help with hydration. Caffeine will help with the puffiness. Um, and what's the other thing with dark? There's a brightening ingredient in here as well. There's something that I'm not sure what it is. I haven't looked that closely, but there's something when you put it on, you see an amount of brightening under your eyes that you, means it's good to lay with makeup and it will brighten dark circles. Um, so let me read the claims and tell you what I think of those. So hydrates, yes, definitely. That's what the that ingredient that I can't say does. Brightens, there's definitely, you can see when you apply it that there's something in it that brightens the area. And I think that that's really, you're never gonna be able to use just that on its own if you have dark circles that you're concerned about. I have got a video of me um, putting this on, which I will probably insert at some point, but you'll notice that I don't really have dark circles. So you can't see a huge difference. Um, but it's a good one to layer under makeup. You know, So you could put this on, then put on a, a corrector and then perhaps um, a highlight color or a concealer, something like that. Um, hydrates, brightens, yes, perks you up. I don't know about perks you up. Um, it's cool touch and deep puffing tip. The cool touch, I didn't feel it was a cool touch. And like I said, I've been to two counters and felt the end of that little um, round plastic ball and it doesn't feel like a cool touch to me, but it'd be interesting. So if anybody, if any of you have tried this, please let me know if you found the tip to be cooling. But I wish it had a little metal ball on the end. I think that would have been just perfect because they do then feel very cooling. And I use a tiny little one that I got with another Mali eye cream and I love using it. It's very, very cooling. So I don't find that it's got a cool touch. It says um, the depuffing tip. The reason the depuffing, reason the de, oh for goodness sake, the reason the tip is depuffing will be if you use that to massage your eye area, that would depuff in itself. Um, so yes, that would be true. Helps keep eyes looking fresh. Um, smooths the way for makeup. I've used it underneath makeup every day and it's absolutely perfect for that. So yes, I do agree with that. Um, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about it. You can also put it on top of makeup, um, which I haven't personally tried myself, but she did do that in the shop because obviously I had makeup on and she put it over the top and it didn't disturb my makeup. 
Um, so that's the claims, that's the ingredients. And let me tell you what I think of it, I love it. it it's really lovely to put on and I feel like there's not many creams in, in fact, it's more of a cream gel. Let me squeeze some out so you can see what it's like. I should have brought my little tub through, um, my little pot through. So that's what it looks like. It looks like a cream. It actually goes on more like a gel. Can you see that that's completely disappeared? It's not like a rich, thick cream. Like if I use an eye cream, I would use the Bobbi Brown Extra eye cream. But that is a very, very rich, thick cream. Um, <clears throat> and the problem with the Bobbi Brown cream is that I don't use it that often. I use it when I'm feeling a little bit dry. I'll put it under my eyes and it is a wonderful product, but it can cause milia, which is tiny little white spots around your eye area, which would be very, very difficult to reverse. Um, whereas this is a lot more lightweight. You can see there, I don't know whether you can see, let me put a little bit more and see if you can see the brightening on my hand. Um, Cause I probably am gonna buy a tube of this, to be honest. So that's it when it's wet, but you can see how lightweight it is. Sorry about was why I think that some people are saying it's targeted towards younger people, and that even if it is targeted to younger people, I think it's great for any age. I don't think it has you have to be young to use it. I think that if you have dark circles, then I think this would be a great product because it does have that level of brightening um, that layering it under your makeup, I think will help. If you have puffiness, I think this would be good. And if you use the end to give a little massage to your eyes every day, that would really help as well. Um, and it's also got the caffeine in it, which will help with puffiness. And if you have dry under eyes, then this would be great because it is very hydrating. Um, it doesn't have anti-aging properties in it. It doesn't work on fine lines. And you know, it's, the aim of this is not to treat fine lines and wrinkles. So if that's what you want from your eye cream, then this probably isn't the product for you. Um, but I think that that's why it's maybe thought that it's targeted to younger people because it's not addressing fine lines and wrinkles. If you like me have sensitive eyes, I can say that this hasn't made my eyes any more sensitive. I have, well, sensitive, yeah, I have sensitive watery eyes. There's certain eyeshadow colors that I can't wear. There's certain, um, moisturizers that I can't wear. I have watery eyes quite often and I know that it's either the moisturizer that I put on at night or the moisturizer I put on in the day and I've still not worked out exactly what the ingredient is but at the time when my eyes are watery anything that I put near my eyes can sometimes exacerbate that and this hasn't done that at all. In fact they're watering less now I'm using this and I found that with the Bobbi Brown cream as well actually because at one point I thought the Bobbi Brown Bobbi Brown extra cream was the solution. It wasn't, it's just that it doesn't irritate my eyes and neither does this. So I think that if you've got sensitive eyes, you'll be okay. I can't see any ingredients that would bother you. Um, so I think that's everything there is to say about it. Let me know if you've tried it. Let everybody know, like I said, what you think about that tip, if you found it to be a cooling tip. If that had a cool metal ball on the end, if it had a metal ball on the end, I would have bought it instantly, I'm pretty sure. And that would have been a selling point for me because I, I almost bought something similar from the body shop that was just a face massager because I love those. So um, yeah, I'd love to see this come out with a metal ball and I'd be there straight away. But I still might consider buying this because it just feels so lovely. It makes me want to use it. It just feels so silky and lightweight going well, on my so face. I've got on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm noticing that the sun's shining right on me. So hopefully it's, not too crazy a lighting for you. Um, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. On my eyes is the Visarts Neutral Matte and Dark Mattes Palette. On my cheek is Makeup Geek Romance. And then on my lips, I've just used this LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in Innocent Vixen. It's the first time I've used it, so I'll be interested to see how it lasts and how it feels, but it feels lovely so far. Um, so that's everything. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon. The people that will benefit, get to the Blooming Point, Kaz.